What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol PLTR for Palantir Tech. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. We do talk about the stock semi-regularly here on the channel. The main thing I want to point out today is the fact that we do have a look above and fail of that, uh, what was that, six-day balance range, okay? So we got a breakout on Tuesday. On today's session, unfortunately, we did close back down underneath. And as we know, the rules state the target should be the bottom end of the range here, closer to 12. In the after hour session, we're also gapping lower. We're currently trading 1289, 1288, you know, which is here as opposed to the low, right? So we're already sort of making that move through the range from the daily perspective. Uh, again, I would be watching out for 12 as the target down below. What else can we learn from the daily before we hop over to the 30? Well, the daily downtrend has been in effect for quite some time. This was also a failed attempt at a double bottom, right? We had something that looked like that. That was technically your neckline, the top end of the range didn't resolve too higher, okay? So failed attempt from the buyers should go lower, noting that it has failed. On the 30 minute time frame, it becomes abundantly clear as well, right? There's your double bottom neckline. You can see at first we held it on that Tuesday sort of rally outside of it, pulled back perfectly, found support on today's session, right back down inside. So to me, this is or was because it ultimately has already broken in the post market, big flush point. This was nothing more than a micro uh, head and shoulders pattern. As we know, the target should be here around 12. There's not a whole lot of market structure in that area right there. So I would imagine that this could happen sooner rather than later. Now, don't get me wrong. There's this little micro support around 1225, uh, but still, right? That is just basically the low end of the range. We would reevaluate the charts when and if we get there, right? So if we do something like this, and then we start printing another hammer candle down here, or even just an indecision doji, maybe we're gonna be stuck in a sideways range for quite some time and we just go sideways and do something like this into the future. So please don't get overly aggressive to the downside at and around 12 when and if we get there, I would really you know, see what the structure has to offer. Are there any indications? Do we have a higher low? Are we poking through? Do we have a lower low? Do we make a lower high, right? Do we do something like this and then reattempt in short proximity of time? That's what I would watch out for inside of PLTR. As of right now, it doesn't look likely that we get any sort of reversal higher, but if we do, uh, your entry point is probably back out of the range, which is here at 1369, right? If we get somewhere to here and then break, we know the first target is probably the highs from Tuesday, just shy of 1450s. That's gonna wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it today or learned anything new, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.